guys so today I'm just sitting outside filming this video I'm sorry if you can hear the background noise but I just wanted to film outside today because it's a really nice day and I didn't want to be cooped up in my room like usual Bye. body tea how cute is this little man it's a little filter that you put your tea in and he just sits in there floating away. And my box of tissues because I'm a bit sniffly, as you can probably hear from my voice. So this was a really, really requested video. I've been asked this by so many people, so I thought I would just make a video about it. For those of you who don't know, I just joined a partnership with Style Hall here on YouTube so I have been getting paid from YouTube for probably the past month or well, you get paid monthly and I just got my first paycheck so I thought I would just make this video and tell you guys a few different tips on how to make money on YouTube, how to monetize your videos, how to tag your videos and basically just have fun making videos here on YouTube. So my first tip for you would be to create content that you would enjoy watching. No one's going to watch your videos if you're not having fun making them and if you don't put effort into them. Just recently I went and deleted a bunch of my videos because I wasn't happy with them at all and I just thought I'd be much happier if I had a bunch of videos on my channel that I would watch and it's true because often I'll go back and watch my videos and I'm quite a harsh critic on myself but I do believe that if you put up videos that you've tried really hard on that you've put effort into and that you would love watching then that is what you should be uploading. Number two, monetize your videos. This is so important because that is the only way you're going to make money off your videos. The second thing I have to say on that is get a Google AdSense account. You're not going to earn anything off your videos if you don't have an AdSense account. Even if you monetize your videos, that money's just going to waste because it's not going into your AdSense account. So first things first, when you're wanting to make money off YouTube, make a Google AdSense account. And that will be linked to your YouTube channel. I think it can... Um, hold three YouTube channels which I've currently got so it takes all the earnings from those videos and puts them into your AdSense and then once it's reached hundred dollars it pays you. Make sure to go and frequently check your views on your videos to see which videos people are liking so that you can make more similar videos. I suggest joining a partnership pretty early on. Partnerships can increase your views, they can get you more subscribers, they can hook you up with advertising companies and different companies that can send you their products to review. I personally recommend going with Style Hall, they are the ones that I'm partnered with now and so far so good. Already I've made $200 from YouTube, I've gotten, I've been contacted by three different companies who have sent me their products to review joined with Style Hall, they appoint someone to you to talk you through everything, to tell you how to increase views on your videos. When you're with Style Hall, they will give you a login and you'll be able to go into that website to authorize your videos. And from there, they give you different categories to pick from and they give you the most popular tags for those categories so that you can tag your videos with those tags to increase your views as well. That means that whenever someone searches that tag into YouTube, your video will come up so they can view it. As well as that, they have in the website different opportunities for you and different companies that you can connect with to get jobs. As for views, you'll get paid per thousand views. For example, I had a video that got 30,000 views and that is where I started earning from. That, thanks to that video I also got 600 subscribers pretty much in a week block. Often you will have one or two videos that will go viral and what will bring in your subscriber count and viewers. Another good thing about Style Hall is that they send you emails frequently 
giving you different links to things that will help you increase your viewership, links to websites where you can get free music to use on your videos, I'm not allowed to use other people's music on your videos unless you have permission from them to do so. If you do use people's music without permission and you monetize your video, they will, YouTube will often pick this up and your video will get taken down or you'll get a warning or the company or the musician who you're using their music will get the money instead of you. So for example you can use the music on iMovie when you're editing your music, all of that music you're allowed to use and won't get in trouble for. Film in good quality. Now by good quality I don't mean go out and buy a $3,000 camera. Your phone can be in good quality as long as you have a clear camera good lighting, you don't have to go out and buy lighting either. I went out and bought a pillow light which I found on eBay for 40 bucks but you don't have to do that. For example right now I'm filming outside in natural light. Don't sell yourself out. If companies contact you asking you to review their products you can accept this without going and giving their product a good review. Test out their product first see if you like it and if you do do a review on it if you don't you can still do a review but you can do an honest review don't lie to your viewers get dressed up for your videos people are more likely to click on your videos if you look nice or if it looks like you put some effort in to getting ready for your video and you don't look sloppy. This it doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend two hours getting ready but just look presentable, look nice. This is your job so look nice for your viewers. Make sure the thumbnail of your video is in quite high quality and is in relation to your video. If people click on your video and your thumbnail has nothing to do with the video they're less likely to watch it and they're more likely to just leave the video. Um, encourage people to comment and like your videos. This will get your videos around and it will most likely share their comments onto their Google Plus account and all the people in their circle on their Google Plus account will see and find your videos. So try and connect with and make friends with other YouTubers. A collab with other YouTubers and connecting with other YouTubers is going to get you known as well. If you post a video on your account and they post one on their account, their followers can find you and your followers can find them and it's more likely to get you known as well. Another tip I have is get social media. Advertise your videos everywhere you can. Tag them with beauty related topics or whatever topics you are talking about in your videos to get you more known as well. Instagram is a big one, Twitter is a big one and Facebook. I have personally had more success on Instagram and Twitter. Post pictures of your videos, let people know when you've made a new video, link, put the link of your new video in the description in your Instagram, like where you um, go into settings and put website, you can put the description and you can put link to new video or you can post a photo of your new video and say link it in bio and people can just go there and have a look. Same goes for Twitter. Also I find that even though I don't go on Twitter that much, if I post something on Instagram, I'll share it to Twitter, I'll share it to Tumblr, I'll share it to Facebook and that ensures that people still see your videos, they still see your updates and they're more likely to come and follow you. Another tip that I've just found out through experience is doing giveaways. Giveaways are going to get you more followers, they're going to bring people to your channel and people love giveaways. If you reward your subscribers and viewers with giveaways they're more likely to come back and I think that giveaways should be personal for example if you really love a bunch of products that you've been talking your channel you can do a giveaway of a bunch of your favorite products and make regular videos people are more likely to come back if they know that you are going to make regular videos and that they're not just going to subscribe to your channel and then not see anything for two months. Make regular content. Another tip that I have, which I actually learnt from Style Hall, encourage people to subscribe and like your videos by annotating your videos. 
So style haul reckons, and this tip has worked for me. If you annotate your video about three minutes in and make it say something personal to do with thumbsing up the video. So for example, if I was talking about a Steeler palette, I'd be like, thumbs up for Steeler palette, or thumbs up for Steeler, and people would like it without really thinking about it, if you know what I mean. Oh, so, that, so that's at about the three minute mark, and about, ooh, probably two minutes later, you should add a video, or you should add an annotation saying, please subscribe, and that is likely to get people to subscribe to your videos because often people don't know about subscribing they just think that you can like they don't know that you can subscribe to someone's channel and just get their um, get notifications of when they put up new videos they don't know that if you encourage people to subscribe and tell them about it they are more likely to do that another thing is at the end of your video your you should put either a little video or an annotation saying put a link to previous videos you might have done and this is a good way to get the word about all your different videos out and a way for people to catch up on your videos if they missed one. Have fun making your videos. People won't want to watch your videos if you just look grumpy or bored or upset. So have fun. People like bright bubbly people make a mixture of long and short videos. Lots of people don't like to see just really long videos every time. They haven't got time to sit down for 15 minutes but then sometimes they don't want to just sit down, press play and then it's over in five seconds. So make sure you make a mixture of long and short videos so depending what mood people are in they get a bit of both depending on your subscribers some might like watching short some might like watching long another tip is do a mixture of different kinds of videos if you're a beauty guru do different types of outfits makeup um, hauls things like that just Reviews do bunch, like different types of videos. People are going to get bored if you're always doing tutorials or if you're always doing hauls or if you're always doing tags. So try and mix it up a bit. For example, I'm trying to do more um, makeup looks at the moment because I was looking back on my videos and I guess in the past I've been quite lazy and just wanted to make a video but didn't want to put in the effort and film a tutorial so I just opt for tags so I've got so many tags at the moment so probably won't be doing many of them for a while but I think I'm going to be focusing more on outfits outfit kind of videos style lookbooks and makeup tutorials I upload more than once a week I personally am a bit short for time at the moment because I am studying full time I'm working as well as doing YouTube so I tend to upload every Monday and sometimes I'll check, chuck in an extra video if I'm doing a review as well because I don't really see a review as a real video. I don't know if that's just me but I feel like if I'm doing a review for a company that's kind of a video for them. It's a video for you guys too but it, does, it just isn't as personal. Sometimes so I'll put up two videos in a week or if I'm going away I'll put two videos up in a week. Another thing is if you know that you're going away and you still want to upload, upload before then. Let your subscribers know that you're going to be uploading early. Keep your promises. Don't say that you're going to upload and then not do it. Don't say you're going to do a giveaway and then not do it. Don't say that you're like don't promise people a video and then not come through or they're not really going to respect you. They're not going to rely on you as much. And Another thing is, which I find that a lot of YouTubers don't really do, is connect with your subscribers. I love talking to my subscribers, especially if they comment on a photo on my Instagram or tweet me. I always tweet back. I always comment back to them. And I know that a lot of YouTubers just kind of look at the comments and don't say anything, but I think that you will get your subscribers respect a lot more if you engage with them. 
when people comment on my videos, I always try to reply to their comments. Even, it doesn't have to mean that you're just commenting, spending all day online. I know lots of YouTubers use that as an excuse. They say that they haven't got time because they've got other things to do, which is true, but if you have time to set aside to those other things, you should have a certain time to set aside to reply to comments. So even if it's just like half an hour, 40 minutes, one hour out of every day, go and sit down and read your comments, reply to your comments, and get engaged with your subscribers. Make appearances. Going to events, like YouTube events, and meeting your subscribers is really going to get you known. For example, I went to IMATS last year, I'm going again this year. Um, and just things like that, BeautyCon, um, whatever YouTube things there is, there's like YouTube workshops, it's a way to get yourself known, to meet other YouTubers, to do collabs. So that is basically all the tips that I have for making it on YouTube. Right now I will say that this is only a part time job for me but it's my dream job and I'm absolutely loving everything about it so far. And Two years ago, I didn't even know that this could be a job, so I feel really, really privileged to be a part of this um, community, and I love it. So, if you're wanting to or thinking about becoming a YouTuber, I definitely recommend doing it. Just get out there, make your first video, and once you get in the flow of it, you'll get ideas, you'll get better at it, and you'll feel more comfortable. Don't forget to comment down below, thumbs up the video, of course, and subscribe so so you can keep up with all my video posts and I'll see you guys in my next video bye